Hallelujah. God bless. I hope that y'all doing okay in Jesus' name. God wants obedient people that is going to serve Him in faithfulness, that's going to serve Him and pour out their life on the altar of sacrifice in service for His kingdom. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. People say they believe in Jesus, but they hold on to the world. People say they believe in Jesus and they practice willful sin. You won't have Holy Ghost fire burning in your heart if you're practicing willful sin. Sin will put out the fire of the Holy Ghost. It will quench the Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You wonder why you don't have a zeal burning in your heart to do work for the Lord Jesus Christ? It's because you're holding on to the world. Your heart is in another place. The Bible says that where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Where is your heart, Mr. and Mrs. Professing Christian? Is your heart on the things of this world? Or is your heart on Jesus Christ? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because if your heart is on Jesus, your heart is going to burn on fire for Jesus. You're going to have a zeal burning in your heart. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Bible says that God is a consuming fire. God is fire. When Moses heard God speaking to him, God spoke to him through a bush that was burning on fire. When you set your heart to seek God in prayer and you go after him in obedience, he sets your heart on fire. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yet some of you, you're holding on to the worldly things. You're allowing the things of this world to choke out your fire. You're getting busy with the cares of life and your fire is being choked out. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is no longer first in your life and that's why you're in a big struggle. Hallelujah. You have to put God first. You have to seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. And everything will be added unto you. You keep trying to do things without Jesus. You put Jesus on the back burner and God says put Him first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Let go of the things of the world. Do not love the world. All the things in the world. If you love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. All that is in the world, it gets a hold of your heart. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You have to give yourself in obedience to Jesus. Depart from sin, no one who seeks to live in a practice of sin will strengthen themselves in the Lord. You can't just drag Jesus into your sinful mess. Jesus is not like a dog on a choker chain that you can just drag anywhere you want him to go. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You have to do things God's way. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's God's way, and God's way is the way of holiness. God wants you to live clean. God wants you to live holy. Fake Christians don't like when I preach like this, but it's the truth of God's Word. 
The Bible says, be holy because God is holy. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Without holiness, no one will see God. They won't have fellowship with God. They're just going to have dead religion. There'll be no fire burning in their heart. They won't labor for Jesus. Jesus said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You know why the laborers are few? Because of the sacrifice it takes to enter into the harvest. You have to be willing to go after God. You need Holy Ghost fire. You need a disciplined life. You need to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. If not, you're just going to have dead religion. And you will be unprofitable for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You'll be fearful of men. You won't witness the gospel. You won't pray for people. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because you're not putting God first. There's no zeal burning in your heart to do God's work. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You have to discipline yourself and live right before the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants us to obey Him and be faithful. We have to be faithful to Jesus. God wants His people to obey. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Be faithful to Jesus. If you are practicing sin, repent. Come out of whatever sin you're committing. Confess your sin and say, God, I'm sorry. Rededicate yourself to Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you're backslid, come back to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're in the pig pen of sin, come back to Jesus. Like in the story of the prodigal son. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. If you departed from the faith and you're in the pig pen of sin, come out the pig pen and go back to Jesus. Hallelujah. Get your heart back on fire with Holy Ghost fire. There's mercy at the cross. Hallelujah. But you need to be willing to come back to Jesus. Confess your sin. Get on fire for God. Forsake this world. Do not love the world. Don't hold hands with the devil. Get off the fence. The fence belongs to the devil. Live faithful to Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Be encouraged. Be strengthened in the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name.